Hi folks, so in this video what we're going to be doing is another orthographic problem and once again we're going to be focusing on uh, surfaces that have either been cut or, uh, or slope surfaces, okay? They generally are cut by what's known as maybe an oblique plane or uh, maybe an inclined plane. So just on this one here, we're going to be doing this question here on the right. Uh, in another video I'll focus on this one here on the left. But it says here, represented, uh, each, uh, represent each of the solids shown uh, below using orthographic projection by drawing the following views. A front elevation looking in the direction of arrow A, an end view or an end elevation looking in the direction of arrow B, and then a plan projected from above. So a plan projected is obviously a bird's eye view looking down the top of it. Okay. So first of all, we're obviously going to look at the object. We're going to work out our overall measurements. So looking in the direction of arrow A, okay which is the front view of the object okay we can notice that the overall length is 115 which i've written up here in the direction of arrow b which is the side view of the object or the end elevation we can see that the overall width is 85 which i've written up here and then the overall height of it is 95 okay um so when we're positioning our views depending on where the elevation is we're going to dict that's going to be dictated by the direction of the arrow the arrow here in this case is pointing in the right hand direction. So when we're doing setup of the question, the elevation box will go on the right hand side of the XY line. The end elevation will go on the left of the elevation. Okay, and then the plan goes underneath the elevation. Now, just in relation to the object itself, it's kind of broken up into two structures. We kind of have the platform here, and we have this structure here that's kind of a weird shape, but I'm actually going to call it an eye shape, okay, based on this kind of green eye here, okay, the letter I. So if I just refer to a 3D model there, and load here, the 3D model, okay, we can see here we've got the, the 3D graphic, and based on the graphic, when I look at it from the front view, this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see the yellow surface, so if I just refer back to my drawing here, the yellow surface with this green surface here, okay, from the side view, I'm going to see the red surfaces, the red faces, and once again, this green kind of slope surface here, and then from the bird's eye view, view I'm going to see the blue surfaces and obviously a little bit of the green as well okay so just referring to that there now again so from the front this is what we're going to see yellow surface with the green eye from the side the right hand side we're going to see those red surfaces and you can see here this is our sloping line there okay really important and then from the top view we want to see what's in blue okay and once again we want to see the green eye and then obviously these green surfaces here which are the slopes as well and what's important to note is, I'm going to highlight a couple of lines here. This one, this one, and this one. Those three lines, you can see they're highlighted in orange there on your screen. They're very important, okay? Because those lines, even though they're on separate surfaces, this one here, well, it's all on the one surface, but in different places. There's one here, then there's one here, and then there's one here, okay? They're not all in line in this view. But when I go to... You can see here my front view or my right view i should say they will appear as if they're one line so just rotate it around there you can see there that they're skewed but once i go directly to the right hand side it's appearing as one line there okay that's because that is the direction if you imagine a, a knife was slicing through it that is the direction that the knife is after slicing through it okay so we're going to use that information there now to help us complete this object okay starting off with the front view there like that okay using the various measurements so i'm going to start on the drawing there now so once again i have my boxes already drawn the elevation the ua goes on the right hand side so i did a box 115 long and 95 high by using the measurements here kept the gap between my end elevation view b goes on the left of the elevation okay 85 long 95 high and then the plan then by projecting a line of 45 degrees the plan goes underneath it and brought across okay so there we have that now what we're going to do is we're going to put input our various uh, lengths and heights so on my lengths i've got 15 20 15 15 15 20 and 15 i've heights then of 10 10 15 45 and 15 so i'm going to put all those in in one go so starting off <coughs> with 15 millimeters and then i have a 20 and then I have three 15s, so 15, 30, 45, and then I have one other 20, with 15 left over. Okay, so I'm happy with that. There's all my measurements going from left to right. Now I'm going to put in my heights. I think I have two 10s and a 15 to start off with. So 
2 up to 1 is 10, 1 up to 0 is 10, then I have a 15, so 15 up to 0, then I have a 45, and once again 15 left over. So there's all my lengths put in and heights, so I'm going to transfer all those across, nice and light. Okay, this one's going to be roughly in the middle somewhere, so that's going to be my little eye section there. And now what I'm going to do is complete the platform and then the eye. So from this one, this one, this one, this one, this is going to go all the way to the top. This is just going to go to there. You can bring it the whole way up if you want. And we actually have the object kind of completed there now. It's just a case of having in the important parts. So once again, I'm going to use a marker for my heavy lines. It's going to fully heavy in my base there. I'm going to heavy in from here all the way just to here. A bit further. I'm going to put in some vertical lines now. There's that vertical, that vertical. Now I'm going to put in some more horizontal lines. So this is the eye. We're seeing it kind of a skewed version of it here, not the actual true shape of it, because it's actually sloping backwards. And just to complete it, then we've got these little lines here. Which are the slope surfaces at the side. Okay, so there is our elevation view done. Now what we're going to progress on to is our end elevation. So any heights that I had here previously, I can bring those across. Likewise with this one. And likewise with this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to search for some widths. So looking in the direction, obviously, of uh, view B here, this little red surface or this little red stick man, I can see this surface here, I can see the green slope, I can see this face, this face, and this face. Now what's important to note is the measurement at the top is 20 millimeters, and the measurement on the platform is 65. So at the very, very tip top, I'm going to measure 20 millimeters back, and then the platform is at this level, so from this point right here, I'm going to measure 65 millimeters back to here. And what I'm going to do then is, as I see the void sheet in the video, this line, this line, and this line will appear as an edge, okay, as a, as a straight line, because that is the direction of our cut surface. So I'm going to connect this down to here. And what that has actually helped me do is complete the view. It's just a case of heavy in the important parts once again. So I'm once again I'm going to go my horizontal lines first. So here's the starting of that slope surface there. I'm going to get in some of my vertical lines. And two more. I've got one horizontal down here at the bottom. And then finally, this face right here. There. Okay, that is our end elevation done. If I just refer to our model. Okay, go to the right view, and there we have it. This surface, this surface, this surface, there's the green slope surface, okay, at the front, and then this surface, and as I said, the green slope surface there. Okay, so that's what we have at the front, and if we refer to our object, yeah, that's what I've done here. So I'm happy with that now. So the last little bit we have to do now is the plan. So to complete the plan, what you would do is all your lengths that you have in your elevation, you would transfer them down to your plan, so the 15, bring it down, 20, 15. Now you don't have to bring them the whole way down. I'm bringing them the whole way down because I would, in general, usually be using a pencil, but for the purpose of this video, I'm using a biro. It just stands out better. So all my lengths have been brought down. Now what I need to do is I need to transfer down all of my widths, okay? So this one and this one has come down. Now the next one I'm gonna bring down is this guy here. Then I'm actually going to bring down this point here. Then I'll also bring down this one. And then finally, the last one up here at the very tip top, there. Okay, now all those widths will come across in a minute. 
But before I do that, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to heavy in the platform as if the I part of it was not there. Okay, so I'll just refer back to the video here a second and hopefully hide. Oh, I did it a different way, so I'll put that back on. But if we imagine for a second that this I section, this bit here, this, 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 all the bits I'm highlighting there, imagine for a second that all of those, okay, are not actually visible, okay? They're not visible. Okay, so we just have the platform, the blue surface on top with the two green bits. That's all we would see when we're looking down on top of it. The blue bit with the two green bits at the side. So that's what I'm trying to actually heavy in there. So, in that case, I would actually heavy in the whole outline of the box. And then to get the two sloping surfaces, What's important to note is this is the slope and my elevation, so it has to be between these two points, so I can transfer that down. Likewise, on the opposite side. Okay, so there's the plan halfway done. Now what we have to do is we have to work out the eye. Okay, now I'm just going to once again refer back to my object here. We've got this blue surface, the flat surface on top. Okay, so I need to find that, and then I'm going to actually find the eye section as well, because that's all I'm actually seeing when I look down top of it, and when I actually see this bit and this bit in here. So I see little bits of that section as well, of these surfaces there, okay? Not fully, but I'm going to see a portion of them. So I'm going to find that bit, that's the flat bit on top first. So to do that, that is in between this section here, so it has to be between these two lines, and then the width of it is over here. So that's how far it comes out as. So if I follow this down and bring this point across, there we go. I can now heavy in that part. Okay. Now for the next portion of it, what I'm actually going to do is a little bit of indexing. Okay. I'm going to use uh, numbers. So let's say this point here is point number one. That would make this one here point two, three, this one up here four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, I have labeled and twelve obviously back to one. I've labeled all the points on the I symbol here or the I section. Now, what I have to do is if I've them labeled in this view, I want to also label them over here in this view. So, if I want to find one, well, where is one? One is over here. There's one. And also in the same position as 12. Then I've on this line, okay, I've got 2, 3, 10, and 11. So I'm going to go 2, 3, 10. Put the 11 inside, it's fine. Up here, I've got 5, 4, 9, and 8. So I'll say 4, 5, 8, and 9. Just go in numerical order. And then up here, I've got 6 and 7. Okay, so straight away, can I find 6? Six has been found already because if I follow six down and it comes across, six has to be somewhere along here. So that point is six, which therefore, by the process, is going to make this one seven. Okay, so I want to find one, two, obviously, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, or sorry, one, twelve, two, three, ten, eleven, four, five, eight, and nine. So to find those, I'm going to start off with four, five, eight, and nine. Bring them down, bring them across. To find four, four is going to be here, 5 is going to be out here, then we're going to have 8 here, and finally 9 in here, okay, likewise I'm going to do the same with 2, 3, 10, and 11, okay, so 2, 3, 10, and 11 will come down, and they'll be along this line, find them here, 2, 3, 10, and 11, so there's 2, 3, 10, and 11, and then finally 1 and 12, there's going to be number one. There's going to be number 12. Simply a case now of having them in, having all those in. So 1 to 12 is connected. 2 to 3. 10 to 11. There we go. So there's all the horizontals. Have this one. And have this one. There we go. Now, the last little bit that I have to complete on that drawing is I also have to heavy in this line here. Now, that doesn't mean I'm heavying in 2 to 5. 
what I'm actually having in there, as I said previously, is this face here and this face. And really what I'm actually having in is that outside line there and that outside line there. If I look down top of it, you can see them there. Okay, so that's hopefully a little bit more helpful to you there by just showing you that little uh, 3D object there. So I'm just going to refer back to the drawing there now. We have therefore by completed the elevation, end elevation and plan. Um, I do find it very helpful, okay, when you get onto a confusing object, okay, like this I kind of was, where you can label the points, okay, and then you're going to follow it around like a map because all those points should be in every view, okay, so if you can find them in this view and this view, you should by then be able to find them in this view, kind of reading it like a map because it's going to go in obviously this kind of sequence, okay, so that's the question completed there, guys, I hope you found that helpful.